All right, everybody. It's the Brian Vinny Show, March 20, 2022. Oh, no. What's up with this battery button right here? I'm sure it's not. Yeah, fun. what's that, Jared? The battery's low. It's plugged in. Charge the battery? How do we do that? You don't know? Okay, what's he saying here? There is no battery. That sounds like a problem. You suggested that our listeners come up with some music and send it in. And less than a week later, you put the axe to it. I like all the songs, but it's just the wrong vibe. The wrong vibe. It's the wrong vibe. It's just weird. No. Even it's... Vinny agreed. Right, Vinny? Vinny doesn't care. Well, he's just sitting there not even saying anything. Fine, I'll start the damn show over again, Craig. Here you go. You're listening to The Brian and Vinny Show with your hosts, Brian Alvarez and Big Vinny Jared, B. Jared, put the graphic back up. Thank you, Jared. It's time for the king of pro wrestling podcasts. From scenic Bothell, Washington to your brains. Now we got two voiceovers. for what everyone's been waiting for. The Brian and Vinny Show, Brian and Vinny Show, Brian and Vinny Show. Sometimes a prank, yes, Brian Craig. and Vinny Show, Brian we can and Vinny Show, face. Brian and Vinny Show. Minus five stars every day. What more would you want? Okay, I'm with Craig now. <laughs> Play more of these. Huh? Wrong vibe? Mm. I th- Does the song start at any point? Brian. This is excellent. Paige declares that she looks better than any woman, fights better than any man, and makes more money than the Federal Reserve. And Scorp- that, That's not true. Well, no, the last part is definitely not true. Yeah, but, uh, I didn't lied. realize OnlyFans was paying that much. I'm just glad she's not an alien anymore. She wasn't really from Andromeda. Jim Neidhart was not actually an anvil. <laughs> no, kind of. He well, was. he looked like. Now that he's a heel, should Jericho change his theme music or keep it the same? I think he should have one of our listeners make a new song. That's, that's a strong argument after yes. the night. Hey, is that your song, Granny? Is that the right one? Or did I play the wrong no, one today? No, that wasn't the one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Dude, where is your song? Every show starts with some disaster. You ever notice that? Andrew Collins asks, when no, was I the can't last... stop it. Why won't it I, stop? I think we God found the disaster that always starts a show. <laughs> if you could remake one classic movie... With The Undertaker as the lead actor, what movie would it be? Bullet I starring said The Undertaker. The Godfather the starring God- The Undertaker. Father. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. You come here today on my mother's birthday. What is Triple H's real name? Triple H's real name is uh, Paul Levesque. Really? Well, yes. how come it's Triple H? Because that's his fake name. You think the guy's name is The Undertaker? You think his mom put that on his birth certificate? Hmm. All you have to do is click a link and we'd have your video, Granny. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I don't care. What? You don't care if we put you on video? <laughs> a quick switch. After all this time, it's okay to put you on video? Uh, I don't know. Couldn't you put an earlier picture of me? No, we're on video right now. We put you on video. Like the talkies. Yes. Oh. And you could see us and we could see you. (laughs) Moving pictures, yes. Yes. Yeah. This fucking guy hits his move and he splashes a guy on the back. But he can't pin the guy because the guy's on his stomach. Mm -hmm. And there's grown men leaping out of their chairs and they're like, Kamala, turn him over. Turn the guy. They're yelling at him to turn the guy over. The Bushwhackers and Lord Al Hayes. Doing home improvement from WWF. Literally. Smack 'em, whack 'em. So Excuse it's, me, what? That's what smack the. That's what the smack 'em, that whack 'em what right what after the, the double tape. stroke. That is what the tape was and called. And the giant pecker. I never realized how phallic this promotion was. <laughs> and they are working on the pipe, and the pipe explodes all over Lord Alfred Hayes' face. Yeah. That and, was uh, disgusting, Vinny. You're a horrible were, person. They were wrenching on the pipe, and all of a sudden. All right, will you get out of here, both of you? You got to work the crank with one hand, and you. Anyway. Excuse me? AEW and NXT 2.0 tonight, everybody. And if you want a cameo, it's F4W Online. I banged out three cameos today. I did more banging today than I've done since. Anyway. Is every show we do now going to be uncomfortable? It opens with a very unsexual match. (laughs) CM Punk versus Dax Harwood. 
Oh, this was a little bit uh, arousing, was it not? I mean, if you like great wrestling, they had a the best fucking lockup, and I write that down, and Jim Ross is like, God damn, look at that lockup. This is the greatest working CM Punk there's ever been. He's a better oh. worker now than he's ever been in his career. Wow. If you follow him on Twitter, they were having a contest to see who could be the biggest Bret Hart fan. And I think CM Punk even went so far as to try to wet his hair like Bret, which I don't recommend him doing again. Whatever he did to his hair this night, stop it. This particular building had a convenient ledge that Jeff could climb to and then do the senton off the Blackpool Combat Club. What can I do to get a badge that says that? So apparently you have to go train with John Moxley and Brian Danielson and William Regal, and uh, they will beat your ass, and if you survive, you get a badge. I think there was a guy dressed as Jesus in the crowd. I see. And Jeff, I, I guess, heard the Jesus chants and threatened to strap Wardlow to a cross. And just hmm, uncomfortable. Tony Schiavone interviews Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti. <laughs> it's one of those things where uh, the last you saw of Sammy Guevara and a woman was when he proposed on national television. But uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, they broke up. <laughs> and he got a new girlfriend. Yeah. Lambert, we live in your head. But if you knew what we did while wearing that belt, now we live in your mouth, too. This DNT title, man. Scorpio won it in a joke match. And he defended it in a joke match, and then he left here without ever talking, and the whole point of the belt was just to be the setup as a prop for a sex joke. I do see these fans turning on uh, Sammy and Ty here. Tony Schiavone is interviewing Thunder Rosa, her first appearance since winning the Women's Championship. Gets the big answers. Speaking of a bad start to a title reign, this seems to be a trend. You're not wrong. Mickey Guerrero immediately interrupts. You claim to be from Texas, she says, but you're not from my state. You can take your fake green card and swim back to Mexico. Bro, this guy, and I mean this with, with like all love, is a total gimmick. I love the guy. And he, he flourishes his <laughs> pen and he starts going, da, 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 and he's like drawing on this thing. <laughs> he was so awesome pretending to draw. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's fucking amazing. He never stops drawing, but he turns his face to Duke. Like, you fucker. <laughs> And he looks back at his work. This segment was fucking gold. It was ridiculous. It was preposterous. It was it was completely moronic, but it was fucking great pro wrestling bullshit. A woman walked by, a stunning woman, in a very revealing dress. I have <laughs> there was no zero clue. <laughs> they, they did not identify this person at all. Have I ever seen this person before in my life? The thing I love about Gunther is he does nothing, but the nothing yes. that he does, he does so well. Yes. That he gets that is the key. Like Sammy's on the other show, God bless the guy. But he's talking about how he's gonna do all this crazy shit to get you to chant holy shit. Fucking Gunther chopped this guy, they chanted holy shit. Yes. From a fucking Dude, chop. He chopped Duke so hard. The crowd leapt to their feet yes. like a standing ovation and watched the entire match on their feet from that point forward. If I was going to go back and watch any of them a second time, Gunther and Duke one. Hudson. Yep. And then I watched I it a third time and then a fourth. This man is in the Hall of Awesome. All right. It is official. Gunther has been added to the, the prestigious Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. 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 Ellen Knight interrupts. He gets as far as, let me talk to, and Gunther says, you shut up! I talk, you listen! And uh, Gunther, 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 Gunther! Nobody wanted to be in it. Yeah. Nobody wanted to win. That's true! And then the winners... This actually makes sense. <laughs> None of the teams, nobody wanted to be in the tag team Dusty Classic. So I guess what would be more fitting than the winners? They don't want to fight for the tag team. Essentially, t essentially threw down the prize. Yeah, we just want to be singles people. Fuck, we've been saying that since before this tournament began. 